Hi, I'm Bruce Atomic. I'm Pat Tharp. And I'm Radical Rod. And I'm Chris Brooks, and we're Holy Saint. We want to take this time to say, say a little something to you. Actually, it's not little, but it's the greatest thing you'll probably ever hear. And that's the gospel of our Lord, the God who we serve, the God of all creation. His name is Jesus Christ. It says in John 3, 3, it says, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, or truly, truly, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of heaven. That means he can't be in it to see it. Jesus said this to, to show man that the only way for eternal salvation is through him, the crucifix, the price he paid. Jesus was God in the flesh. People like to try to, try to diminish Jesus and say he was just a man or just a prophet, but he was God. He was the Almighty God from the beginning. And John 1.1, 1, 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word, the Word was with God. And it also says that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. He was God in the flesh, come down in our form. And He took upon Himself all the sins of you and me and everyone in this world that would be or was and is going to be. That He, pray, he paid the price once and for all. That after that, no more should there have to be a price paid for sin. It was paid for. It's done. Now you have a choice. You've got a choice to receive what He's done for you. The love that He has for you. Now, even now. No matter what you've done. No matter what you're doing. No matter what you're going to do in the future. He, His love is still poured out for you. And you have a right to receive it. A lot of people say that... that I don't want to lose my free will or I don't want to be a slave. But to tell you the truth, whatever you yield your body to, you're slave to. If it's, if it's alcohol, booze, pot, drugs, I don't care what it is. If it's pornography, women, your girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, children, your job, your car, whatever it is, whatever you've, you've attached yourself to, you're slave to. It's running your life. You can't really say that you have total control because we've all sinned. We've all fallen. We're all missing it somewhere. We need a Savior. We need someone to reunite us back with God. God made man so he could share everything that he has with man. That's what life's all about. It's being one with God, being one with Jesus. Look to the cross. You'll see it. You'll see it. That's what it's all about. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, starting with verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whosoever believes in him shall not be ashamed. There's no difference between the Jews or the Greeks or the Gentiles. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon Him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you believe something in your heart, your lifestyle follows it. It's true to you. God also says, be faithful as I am faithful. And be perfect as I am perfect. Let Him be your Lord. If anybody wants to accept Jesus Christ right now as their Lord and Savior, this is this is an opportune time. You could you could be in your bedroom right now. We don't we don't know where you are right now. You could be you could be in a subway listening to this tape and hearing this message right now. You could be in New York City. You could be in uh, in the slums. You can you can be in the worst part of your life right now. You could be going through any who knows who knows. Only God knows the things that you're going through right now. We've talked to a lot of people that were on the verge of committing suicide and have just given up hope in life and they've turned to Buddha and all these other false religions and false gods and, and a whole bunch of just messed up junk and, and their lives just got worse and worse and worse. And right now, if there's anything stopping you right now from accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, just remember... It doesn't come from heaven. It comes from hell. It comes from Satan. 
And right now, what we want to do is we want to pray for everybody right now. We just take authority over all those satanic strongholds that are oppressing you right now in the name of Jesus. I just pray right now that the angels are around you and they're protecting you and they're watching you. And that your heart is is right now being open. That you hear the word of God clearly. That those devils that are that are holding your ears and blocking your eyes from seeing the truth. I pray that that they would just release you right now in the name of Jesus. All drugs that are that are hurting you and that are wrecking your life. If if your mom and dad or any of your friends are are gonna are just gonna knock you down for being a Christian and stuff. If you've got any of those fears. Don't worry about it. Serve the Lord because they're not going to stand with you on judgment day. And this world, the way it is right now, Jesus Christ might come back very soon because this world is in real bad trouble. This world is in a verge of just falling to pieces. And you know it's true. You know what we're talking about. And right now, we're going to pray. If it's in your heart right now to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior... Do it right now. Do it right now. Don't walk away from Jesus Christ right now. We're going to pray right now. The blood of Jesus is already poured out. The cleansing blood that was poured out for you and me is already poured out over mankind. It's calling for all to come in and be cleansed. I don't care what it is that holds you. The blood can cleanse you. I don't care what it is that, that, that... possesses you, the blood of Jesus can cleanse you. I don't care what scars you have on your heart, the blood of Jesus can cleanse you. I don't care what you've been through or what family has has just been destroyed by this world, the blood of Jesus can heal you. I don't care what's holding you back, the blood of Jesus, there's nothing that is more powerful than the blood of Jesus. And it's calling everyone to come and be cleansed and be renewed. And born again. If you know that you're a sinner, and if you know that that your life is just totally wrecked, and you need a savior, and you need to give your life to Jesus Christ, and you know that Jesus Christ died on the cross, and that His blood was shed for you, we want you to come to Him right now. We want you to come to Him right now in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray right now, and you come to Him right now. And you ask Him to forgive you for all your sins. Believe it in your heart and say it out loud with your mouth. And make a statement and stand for Jesus Christ. Stand for Him to the end. We're going to pray right now. Dear Lord Jesus, dear dear Lord Jesus, Jesus, I know I've sinned. I know I've sinned. I know I'm a sinner. I know know I'm a sinner. sinner. And Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I know I know, I know that you died for me on the cross. You died, you died for, for me, me on the cross. cross. And Lord Jesus, and Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, I just come to you right now. I just, I just come, come to you, to you right, right now and ask that you forgive me for all my sins. And ask, ask that, that you, you forgive, forgive me of for all my sins. sins. I see you on that cross. I see you on that cross. And you're hanging there for me. And you're, and you're hanging, hanging there for me. I thank you, Lord Jesus. I, I thank, thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying for me. For dying for me. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Father. Father. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Father, Father. For giving f- me for all my sins. For forgiving, forgiving me for, for all my sins. sins. Save me, Lord. Save, Save me, Lord. Lord. I just thank you for that, Father. I, I thank, thank you for you that, Father. Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.